Uh, hola a todos, soy Larry, es el uh, primero de abril, día uno del... Uh, <laughs> mi Code Daily Challenge. Uh, as, uh, as click el botón me gusta, en el botón subscribe y ven conmigo a, a, a Discord. Yeah. Okay, that's about as much as I could do. It's April 1st, I don't know. Uh, I don't have much of a plank. That was as far as it goes. Uh, welcome, welcome uh, in English this time. Uh, yeah, if you're a Spanish speaker, let me know in the comments how how how, how terrible I was. But uh, but yeah, maybe I should have done it for leap day instead. But here, here I go. Anyway, uh, but yeah, this is day one of the April Lico Daily Challenge, and we will start off with a easy problem. So let's get to it. I uh, hope everyone's doing okay. I hope everyone's having a good month. Hope uh, if you're doing some, you know, hope the holidays, uh, you know, you had a good long weekend maybe. Or if you're fasting, hope, you know, that's been going okay. And, you know, only a couple more days, right, or something? Yeah, yeah, a couple more days. Um, and, yeah, you got this. I believe in you. Let's do it. Uh, okay, that, that's... Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to practice some Spanish from time to time. That's one of my... Uh, one of my side i have too many pursuits right now but but that's one of my thing uh it, it's i would also say that okay i would start i mean this is an easy problem so you're just coming to hang out and i appreciate that but if you need help then maybe skip forward a little bit it's an easy problem but i would also say that i i, I am actually okay at spanish i want to say maybe not okay but conversational and that i could travel in spanish-speaking countries uh however you know it's a really different world when you try to talk tech in Spanish versus like if you're going for uh, uh, a taco or, so, or um, you know, uh, so some of you might remember from because I actually have these daily videos when I was traveling uh, that I spent like a month in Colombia uh, and it was very fun. So, yeah. Anyway, OK, Let, let's actually take a look. But, uh, but definitely let me know in the comments how my Spanish went. Uh, I did. I tried the best I can off my head. But. Uh, I wish I could say more, but, uh, uh, yeah, okay, let's go. Length of the last word. Given a string S of, I mean, come on, this is a, okay, this is a, a good problem uh, to practice on. There are a couple of ways you can do it. You can, you know, <clears throat> I think definitely if you're a beginner, beginner, spend as much time as you can on doing things the hard way, right? Um, and that, may not make sense to you but it's okay just solve it in any way you can especially easy problems it doesn't matter like if the code's ugly if it if it's annoying if it's really inefficient well if it's really inefficient you know come to the discord and, and we'll, we'll kind of hammer it out but but for the most part just uh you know work on it and if you are a little bit you know uh advanced that's okay too you can practice different things in different ways try using more libraries right Try using, you know, in your, your languages, you know, whether it's Java or Python or C++, try to use something from the library. And if you don't know it, it's okay to look it up because practice is the best time to look it up, you know? So, yeah. Okay, so this one, that, you know, um, the way that I think about these things, right, is that the code that I write is not all, always that clean, but I'm... You have to figure out what you're minimizing, right? Or what you're optimizing for. In my case, I'm minimizing usually possible mistakes, right? And what I mean by that is that sometimes, maybe not for this one, maybe it is actually, but what I, what I usually optimize is not making silly mistakes or having edge cases that comes up, which means more if statements and more code. And... More code usually just means that there's more chances for me to make a typo or an off by one or something like this. That said, just to be clear, don't turn this into a code golf. Still make it clean, reasonably clean, reasonably maintainable, reasonably readable, right? You have these crazy people with, you know, like a one-liner, but, but, but you have a typo and you have to like break up that one part of one-liner you have to break it up just so that you could have the proper print statements and you don't really have a one-liner, you know? Eh, but that's just my opinion. Okay, 
Anyway, this is a pretty straightforward problem in concept, like in terms of algorithms, there's nothing that can for me to explain. So I'm going to just try to do this as clean as possible. And, and yeah, if you're ready, you know, if you find yourself to, you know, if, if you're advanced so that, you know, this problem you should be able to solve in like say less than five minutes, maybe even less than three minutes, say, then see if you can do it without any mistakes, right? Meaning that you don't even have to run the code, you just submit it and, and hope to get it right in the first go. Some, I, I think on, on the contest, uh, the one that we had recently, uh, someone asked me like how, how I, you know, how, how I um, was am able to submit the code without mistakes very quickly, right? Um, but the answer is really like many other things that I say, which is practice. And it's not just always be mindful of what you're practicing, right? Because it's not always just like, oh, just do more problems. That's practice, but you have to be very deliberate about what you want to work on. Sometimes it's speed, sometimes it's harder problems, sometimes it's correctness, sometimes it's, you know, like knowledge around libraries, for example, as I kind of hit on. So you have to kind of put all that together. Anyway, I mean, like I said, this is a very straightforward problem, so I don't suspect that I need to do anything that funky. Let's try this, we'll see. Uh, if it has at least one word, then it should be good, which is what I was looking for. Uh, I have to do this, right? Oh, I think you have to return the word, so okay. So another thing that you can practice, of course, is reading the problem correctly, <laughs> right? So yeah, uh, let's see. Ooh, oh, see, Stuff like that is also a good idea or a good time to practice some of these things because then now you see that some assumptions around your library usage may be wrong. For example, I did kind of know this, but I wanted to point it out to you at home. Just, you know, for learning reasons. I actually kind of knew this, but I, I wanted to see if it, would, if it was true. Because sometimes, I don't know, it's, it doesn't come up that much. But yeah, but I knew that if you have double spaces and stuff like that, it actually gives you an M, uh, zero thing. It actually differs in some languages. So that's why it's not, oh, eh, it's a little bit awkward. But yeah, but we can also just do, a, I think there's a filter thing. That's what I wanted to do, actually. Because there is like um, Python filters. I want to get better at using Python filter, but Python filter is like a very awkward notation versus, because it's not a, a functional version, which is, um, I mean, you could use it functionally, but it's not a, a built-in E function kind of thing. So I don't know. Uh, but yeah, so we maybe could do something like, do, 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 right? I don't know the exact syntax. I'm just playing around the syntax. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know if this is right. And yeah, I kind of knew this because this actually returns an iterator. So yeah, but yeah, it, you know, like I said, if you're really good, you can practice doing this without you know, getting feedback by running the code. Yeah, there you go. Uh, but yeah, but just, just to illustrate a point, let's say I did have a typo and maybe I, I don't know, but I did it this way and I couldn't figure it out, right? Uh, now, this is why one-liners are kind of cool for a beginner and what I call a beginner trap because it always looks so cool and it always look, make you look smart. But the best code is not the code that makes you look smart. The best code is the code that makes the reader makes the reader thinks that they, they could have written it themselves so that it, because it is so easy to read, right? Um, if I had this bug, I don't know how I would be able to debug it. I mean, maybe I'll just keep on looking at the code and eventually it'll be good. But honestly, you know, where if you had four loops, you could like print things out. You could, you know, step function it with debugger, maybe not in the code, but in general. So there are other ways you can debug and yeah. Anyway, that's all I have for today. This is not the right code. So I, I just, just to be clear, because I just want to show, uh, this is the right code to be clear. Uh, but yeah, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. We'll do the premium problem next. Happy holidays and April Fools and all these other things. But uh, yeah, stay good, stay healthy to your mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.